the reason why the ATMs, you don't see them in the rural areas as much as you see them, say, in Chennai, is purely economics. It's uh, the infrastructure is deficient. Therefore, I need a lot of supporting infrastructure to run that ATM. Since it's a rural area, the transactions are less. The cost to, uh, cost to run it, the cost to load cash on it, all of that is high. Therefore, it is not as economic for banks to put those ATMs in the rural, rural or semi-urban areas. So, uh, when, when Vortex uh, got in, I mean, as I said, low power, open source, designed to run, for example, without air conditioning, you can put one solar panel to run the ATM. So it, it, did, it did enable uh, 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 quite a few ATMs, uh, eight banks to deploy ATMs in rural and semi-urban areas. Typical ATM weighs about half a ton, okay, 450 to 500 kilos. So we designed the small ATM and uh, you know, this ATM has been uh, deployed in mobile in some cases. So these technologies that we have uh, made available finally makes this technology available to people who need it. So in that sense, I think we have played a small part in what you could call as a financial inclusion, which has been a you know, policy objective of the government for quite some time. So there have been a lot of uh, changes uh, from a perspective of uh, making uh, not only the ATM, the, the cash in the ATM more secure. And the good news is since our development team our, both on the hardware and software side, sit in India, in Chennai. Uh, we have been very quick to respond. So I think uh, we have proven to our customers that Indian companies can be very quick to react uh, and very flexible to react. And I think that's holding us good stead, both in India and obviously and other markets as well. I, I read an article recently about Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, how his uh, journey actually started in India. Uh, you know, when he was young or something, somebody said there's some sadhu in Uttarakhand somewhere, and I forget the name, uh, and he came and met there. It says, India uh, imprinted one thing on him, the importance of intuition over intellect. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, I remember Kanan, who's the founder of uh, IIT alumni and a founder of Vortex, used to say, and as I said in the beginning, the design started with how do people give cash to each other? They give it like this. So that's where the design started. So that's intuition. Uh, so you don't need to be intellectual to know how to receive this money. It's, it's human intuition. Innovation is happening. I think where there are people, it will happen. As long as there are people, innovation will happen. But of course, we have to go up the chain. Of course, we would love to make this stuff, uh, iPhone kind of innovation, India too. And uh, I think innovation once, and, and we have seen the last 10 years, a lot of startups have done very well in India. So I, uh, we are still behind, surely, than some of the, the benchmarks innovative economies or innovative countries but we have leaped forward from where we were 10 20 years back so now we are starting to do there are a lot of startups doing coming with new ideas uh, so we are on the way in my opinion uh, it's the, the ATM has to go back and is being forced to go back to its core purpose cash and do it as economically as uh, securely, as conveniently as possible for its customers. Mm -hmm. So multifunctional as a subject may be behind us on the ATM, on the ATM. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at least, uh, you know, working in Vortex has of course given uh, many new perspectives. One of the, I think the, the perspective I keep thinking about is the value of time. You know, in a startup company, uh, doing something in two years versus one year is not just about one year. It's, it's about the cost you carry for one year. I, I think we all can do everything much faster. And if you are in a startup, you, you'll be forced to, if you don't do it on your own. You have to do things faster. Um, 
And that is the biggest learning I can tell you on the top of my head that uh, we should do. And the other thing when you uh, when you work in a in a startup kind of situation is the you know is to get into detail. Uh, sometimes they say devil is in the detail in a, any business. So sometimes you may think, oh, this is a mature business. I mean, you know, there's always devil in the details, which you will find only if you look for it. Uh, we're doing, uh, there's, you know, uh, IoT as a, as, a, as a subject, as an area is something which is very uh, high in our list. So we are working with uh, certain departments in IIT to develop some new sensors. We are working on a project with, uh, uh, with IIT on that matter to develop a new uh, uh, sensor range with some new sensors. I think IIT has some very good experience in that. They have some very good uh, instruments to test these sensors various you know, variations, range, all of that. So among the steps is you need some experience to choose the right tools uh, uh, and then, then map the domain understanding onto it. And today there are a lot of tools. So in many of these areas, choosing the right tool to work with itself is a challenge. And for that you need experience. Yes, we have tried this tool, but in this scenario it doesn't work, etc. So some of those experiences help us. So we are working on multiple projects and I think that will continue.